stop telling God no and start telling God yes. It's amazing. I probably hear as a pastor of Mercy Culture, more than anything, people say, thank you for your yes. They say it all the time. Christmas, I get cards. People say it constantly here. Thank you for your yes. And what they are saying is this. They're saying, my life has been changed because of the ministry of mercy culture. My life has been changed. Uh, my, my marriage has been restored. Uh, 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 they're, they're saying, thank you for the yes. And we're seeing in the food bank what we're seeing in, in the campuses, what we're seeing in the Reformation ministries, what they're seeing in, in, in the school thriving in SLS. They're, they're saying, pastor, thank you for saying yes, because in a result of the ministries of mercy culture, my life has been impacted. And I always have a hard time when people say that to me. Because for so long, my answer wasn't yes. My answer was no. But church, can I tell you more than anything, I really want to please the Lord. So even when I was struggling with selfishness, and even when I made an inner vow, even when fear was coming on us, when I, when I started to go away and process, I was like, no, 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 Lord, I, I really want to please you. And even though it doesn't, it's not what I want to do, and even though it's not my plan, Lord, more than anything, I wanted to please you. Can I tell you now, I'm having the absolute time of my life. I can't believe I get to do this. I can't believe I get to part, uh, uh, be a part of this. I can't believe that God chose me to lead in this place. I, if five years into it, it still doesn't feel real. Do you know he knew better than me? Do you know he knew better? I remember Pastor Steve and I talking. We don't know anybody in Fort Worth. We came here with no friends, no jobs, no resources, nothing, no buildings, nothing. Just a word. And look what the Lord has done. You know what's even greater than my yes or your yes? Aren't you glad that Jesus said yes in the garden? In Matthew 26, watch, when even his flesh didn't want to say yes. Put the verse up there. He's saying, Lord, is there any other way? Can you take this cup from me? Lord, is there, any, is there anything I can do? He was feeling the weight of the sins of the world. He was feeling the weight of the sins of humanity. According to theologians, he was bleeding to the point where he was, or sweating to the point where he was bleeding. That's the amount of pressure he was feeling. He's about to conquer death. Hades in the grave. He's feeling the weight of all of humanity. And even in that moment when he said, my flesh doesn't want to I'm going to be the son that maybe says take this cup from me is there any other way but watch this but not my will but your will would be done. What if Jesus decided in the garden, you know what, I don't want to do this. You know what, the first Adam couldn't do it, the second Adam's not doing it. What if he would have made a decision? You know what, they deserve hell. You know what, they deserve punishment. They deserve separation between God. What if Jesus would have said no? How many are thankful that despite what he felt, watch, he loved you so much. He said yes. Would you bow your heads and close your eyes with me all over this place? I heard the Lord say, stop telling him no. As I was praying for today, the Lord said to me, this is the day of salvation. Where there's individuals that you have said no to God in your heart. You've said no to God in your life. And today, a preacher came with the prophetic word to warn you to stop telling God no. Be warned today, tomorrow is not promised to anyone according to scripture. And good people do not go to heaven. Save people go to heaven. There's one way to the Father. It's through the Son, Jesus. It's by faith in Him. By grace and grace alone. Scriptures tell us in Romans that if we confess with our mouth and believe in our hearts, that is what makes us safe. It's not because we serve in church. It's not because we know scripture. It's not because we attend. It is only by faith in grace in Jesus.
The Lord told me today people would get saved. I saw in every campus a vision of people getting saved where they partnered with this prophetic warning and they stopped telling God no. I felt this so strong in my spirit. I don't wish for bad things to happen on anyone and I pray it's not so, but I felt a kick in my spirit this morning to don't play around with tomorrow. Don't play around with God. Don't play around with eternity. I'm not gonna invite you to the front, but I want you to respond. So if you say, Landon, I wanna put my faith in Jesus. I wanna be saved. I wanna give my life to the Lord. I wanna repent for my sins. Maybe you've never done this before, or today you're living in sin, and you wanna commit your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. Repent of your sin and put your faith in Him. Wherever you are, raise your hand right now. Don't wait, don't hesitate. Who cares what anyone thinks? We can care less about anyone's opinion. Don't let it cross your mind. No one cares. The only thing that matters is your soul. The only thing that matters is your relationship with God right now. I'm not gonna ask you to come up, but I want you to be bold. Scripture says, if you confess me before men, I confess you before the Father. So if you're lifting your hands right now, just stand to your feet. If you're listening to this online, I want you to stand to your feet wherever you are. If you're driving, pull over and stand to your feet right now. Right now, if that's you, just lift your hands to a holy God. I want to let you know the Father's proud of you. I want to let you know that I'm proud of you. I want to let you know this church is proud of you. I want to let you know that I've been praying for you. This church has been praying for you. I heard the Lord say, today is a day of salvation. And the greatest miracle we will see today is your soul saved. Everybody in this place, every member of Mercy Culture, every believer, pray this with me. Say, Jesus. I say yes to you. I say yes to I you. I say no to sin. I say no to temptation. I say no to evil. Jesus, I say yes to you. I confess my sin. I turn to you. I put my faith in you. Jesus, have mercy on me. Say, Holy Spirit, fill me. Empower me. Speak to me. Teach me your grace. Teach me about Jesus. Say, Jesus, I love you. According to scripture, not only are you saved and heaven is your home, but angels right now in heaven are celebrating that sons and daughters came home. Church, can we just put our hands together and just thank God for the dozens of people that gave their life to the Lord today. They experienced the miracle of salvation. Come on, let them know we're rejoicing. Let them know that we're rejoicing. Come on, let's not get tired or familiar.